Our next guest is an inspiration to anyone who has ever battled with his or her weight. Kim Benson lost over 200 pounds, but it's what she learned during that change that really amazed her. And she wrote a book about it called Finally Thin. <laughs> and Kim's back here in the kitchen to share her weight loss secrets and show us how to make some yummy dessert that won't pack on the pounds. How are you, Kim? I'm great. How are you, Steve? Good. Nice to see you. You like to eat? I love to eat. We and, all do. Uh, that's, that's, you know, it's funny because people say, oh, gee, Steve, you know, you know, you don't you look like good. I've ever had. Yeah. Believe me, I can, I can do 10 pounds, like in, in like by the end of the week, I could be up 10 pounds. You so can snort control. 10 pounds, I can too. This is a great way to eat in volume mm -hmm. for less fat and calories. And for anybody struggling with their weight, that's really what it's all about. We don't want to feel deprived. Now, give me an idea. I mean, so, you say you, you you did this battle, you tried multiple different uh, uh, diet plans. Everything. I did hypnosis, like with a staple in my ear. I don't usually tell people that. That's okay. I mean, it was a long time ago. It, it didn't I have work one in my for ear me. right now. Do you really? always have that in my ear. Well, you know, this never mind. Uh -huh. um, and I did did that. I did a fast, a four-month fast. I did Weight Watchers, OptiFast, Jenny Craig. I could tell you all of them. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? They all worked. Mm -hmm. Every one of them worked. I yeah. lost weight as long as I was on them. Yeah. So what I had to learn to do was find a way of falling in love with the way I was eating. Okay. So if I could do that, which meant volume, great taste, if I could do that, then I could do it forever. And that's what I've been doing. All right. So all over the place, yep. you lost the weight, you yep. feel good, you're, you're staying constant now where you are? Yes. You exercise too? Uh, walking. Walking? I'm, uh, I'm trying, yeah. Walking program. I try to get in my 10,000 steps in about 10 minutes of um, strength training in the morning. All right. That's all about right. it. Uh, okay. Still all a right. work in progress. So what are we going to do? we got a lot of great looking healthy stuff here. We I do. love healthy. I love fruit. I love all well, this. Well, this one's really easy. We just hollowed out a watermelon. My kids ate it for dinner, and we filled it up with sugar-free jello slice with uh, strawberries. It's 22 calories a slice. You, I mean, that would be considered free on many weight, well, weight loss Program. So, so it's really great. So you take a slice and then you eat the watermelon with the strawberries mixed well, in Well, the watermelon's right? gone. We've eaten it. We okay. just used it as a shell. We've hollowed it out and we filled it up with sugar-free jello, but we've it. reduced the water content so it's more like a jiggler, like mm -hmm. the real stiff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've uh, sliced some strawberries in. It's just strawberries and jello. It's really yummy. Okay. So that's one secret with berries that you can do. That's really a fun snack. Okay, what else? But here's there? the big one. Okay. Filo dough. Now, filo dough comes like this in your grocer's freezer. Filo. F-I-L-L-O. You say filo, I say filo. I've heard it both ways. Okay. It's normally um, thought of as being very high in fat because usually you melt butter, pour it between each layer to give it a lift, and we don't want to be doing that. So okay. all we're going to do is we're going to put it into these little cups. We're going to make our shell first. So this is what you're going to do. When you open it up, it comes out like paper. So okay. the secret is you just want to keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. So we've just unrolled it. It's normally one big sheet, but I've cut it up into four pieces. Okay. And I've lightly sprayed this with a little bit of Pam on the bottom. Okay. And you're going to take a piece and shove it into the pan, into one here. Okay. Just and like then this. in between, right, to shove it in, it doesn't matter, okay. the messier, the cuter. Okay. And then in between, we're just going to sprinkle a little sugar substitute okay. and um, cinnamon. All right. And you do that all the way around with all these ones we've already done in Just baked. one layer? Uh, nope. Then you're going to do the next layer, shove it in on top, okay. and we sprinkle, and then oh, we do... I feel do... like I'm turning into the Lucy show here. Is this going to get crazy? It doesn't. It doesn't. Right. But you okay. can't lick your fingers and pick it up like you do regular paper. No. It's not a good thing. Can't do that on I guess if you're just cooking for yourself, you could. Okay, good, good, good. And that's it. And then you're going to pop it in the oven. You do all of them. Okay. You pop it in the oven at 350 for five to seven minutes, and these are a great make-ahead. This is how they come out. Nice. And they're very light, hardly any calories. They're great. You mean you can eat this? You could eat that. Yeah, it's a little sweet, little you doughy. pieces of paper here? Yeah. No, oh. they're not paper. They're dough. They're that, that's very that, thin. It, it's so thin. Okay. Yeah, it's All really right, easy now. to do. Now we're going to cover it up, put it yeah, away. Cool. We've baked it. Now we've got our shell. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a nice uh, mousse out okay. of any kind of sugar-free pudding. So I've just taken lemon, because lemon goes great okay. with berries. I've poured it in here, mm -hmm. and you're going to mix in... Normally, you're going to do a cup, two cups of milk, but we're going to reduce the milk to a cup and a half. Okay, That's what gotcha. that is. Okay. And then after it's all done, we're going to fold in a little Cool Whip. And okay. what that does is it gives it a nice little lift. Okay. And you can take any flavor pudding and turn it from a pudding into more of like a moussey texture. Okay, good. So, and then we're just going to put half the container of pudding and fold it in. All right. Now, we've already done that over okay. here, though. So we're right, going to take this. I like it. And we're going to fill up the our shell. The magic of television. Okay. That's right. So we're going to take this, fill up your shell. All right. With some lemon pudding, okay. custard. How much? Uh, right there. Right Not there? too much. Okay, good. That's nice. And then you're going to just arrange some nice berries on top. So you get okay. your antioxidants of your berry. You've yeah. got your dairy and your custard. My and berry the and my whole berry. thing is 59 calories, and it's fat-free for one of these little cups. Oh, and you can make it. them ahead. They're really easy. Go picking your own berries, and you'll burn off whatever calories you make eating them. Isn't mm. that easy? Good bird. Now, you have to try the one that you made.
You're a little bit messy there. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm terrible in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you're not. You're right. great. Okay. How do I try this? What's the correct take way to a do it? Well, I, when I'm, you know, nobody's looking, yeah. I just take a bite. Okay. You can do that, do that or you're going to do a fork. I'll get into trouble. Okay. Okay. Try this out. There you go. We well, eat the whole thing. You can take a little bit of... Now I got to... <laughs> mm -hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Isn't I that definitely... nice? Oh, beautiful flavor. Really mm. light, really sweet, really delicious. Mm. And that's kind of the secret to keeping the weight off. Ah. And you can, and, you, and you, it's all under control. Yep. 59 calories? 59 calories for an entire dessert. How much better is that? All right. If you'd like to check out this recipe, go to uh, WTNH.com. Check on uh, Connecticut Style, and you'll get the whole recipe right here. Finally thin. <laughs> Kim Benson, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having Good me. Good healthy stuff. I love yeah. it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to be talking to Michelangelo Knott, one of the nervous knots at Quasi Amusement Park, when Connecticut Style returns.